All right, welcome to the next video. In this one, I'm showing you what the player CV looks like. This is a template you would get from us in the link below. Um, you can even download it. And uh, all you're gonna do is go to File. So you're gonna click File, and then click Make a Copy, and then you get your own copy of this CV, okay? So basically what we've done is we've already created everything essentially that you need. There may be a few other things that you need to add um, but we're, I'm going to walk you through this process right now. Okay, so obviously you're going to add a picture. Here's a picture of Coach Joel um, posing for Olympic Lyonnais. You're going to put your name here. You're going to put your current club team. And you're going to put your primary position. Now you may put, for example, if you play as a number six, number eight, and number four, you can put those on there. You can put primary position number six, secondary eight, and third, the four. Uh, and you can play with that as you need to. Okay. On the left, you have your general profile here. This would be obviously putting your name, your nationality, birth year, your current age. So like if you are 15, you put 15. You put your birth year if you're an 05 or whatever birth year that you are. Your current height and your current weight. Okay. We have our football profile. This would be things that are specific to football. For example, your preferred foot, your, your preferred position, just like your primary position, and then secondary position. Okay. So you could have that in there as well. And again, you can put this here. We provide that an option for you here, though, um, where you can put secondary and third. So you can, again, play with this and modify it as you see fit. You need to put who your current coach is and your club's current technical director or director of coaching. You're going to make sure as well that you put your contact, your phone number, and address. Okay? You put your email. You need to make sure you put your social media links. So YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, put those in there. Um, and then you want to put your club of formation. This is essentially the club that you played the longest for that helped develop you. Okay, so you put that in there, the duration that you played. So you put the club, you put what your role was. So you were probably a squad member, or you could even, if you were a captain, you put captain, things like that. And you put the duration that you're there. You put your primary role. You put the number of games, if applicable, to that you, for example, started. And your stats, goals and assists. And again, play with this as you need to. There's some information maybe you don't have. Or maybe you won't have access to and you can't use it okay you're also going to see here you're going to get the playing history where you can fill in what clubs you've played for you know previous in the past so if you've only played for two clubs delete it right and then it's gone and then you're good to go and then you just play plug and play right so again you have that here maybe you've only played for one club delete this remove it won't even need it okay additional skills or experiences this is to put like we've mentioned before if you played for a U.S. Youth National Team, if you played futsal, if you played for the, the state programs of futsal, if you made the national team for futsal, ODP, anything that you're into to provide insight into who you are in this player profile, okay? Need to make sure that you include your references, which would be, you can see you're going to delete this, obviously, but it's here for you, so you would just delete this, right? But you need to put the person's name, their role, or their club, rather, their role, contact information don't make somebody look for contact information so don't just put for example paul charlie maryland bobcats technical director you need to be very descriptive because if you need to put con if you don't put contact and they need to look for it that's a problem but for example if you put paul charlie and the person that is looking at your cv knows paul charlie and they can verify that the same contact because i'm sure there's tons of paul charlies then guess what that's a direct connection Okay, you need to make sure that's very clear when you put this in. So when you're building your CV, do this. Okay, and you can modify the size of the picture. You can make it smaller, bigger. You want to make sure that it is one page. Okay, you don't want to have it more than one page. All the information you need should be able to be able to put right here. Okay, maybe you got to change the font size, but plug and play. Okay, so make sure you go into the download section and get this. Okay, and then that way you have access. You can modify as you need to and build this out. And maybe you put... You can even maybe put the club of formation that you want here and think about ways to help you stand out. Okay, do that. Find different ways to stand out. See you in the next video.